Hello fellow commanders, looking to make some money, some space cash, and get some new weapons, ships, and whatnot in a fairly decent and quick fashion as it states now. Well, I'll tell you what I've been doing. Stay tuned. Well, first I want to start you guys off with just seeing what I have. I have absolutely no hard points on this. Utility mounts, you're definitely going to want heat sinks. You don't really need the frame shift. I uh, wake, I have that for the engineers or when I was doing engineer stuff. Core internals, lightweight alloys with engineering to make it lighter. Frame shift drive with engineering to make it lighter. Power distributor should be a 5A. So, if you can get one of those, it'd be even better for you. The most important one is this. You want to make sure you can put as much as you can in here. So, this is going to be all cabins. Except for the Super Cruise Assist and the Advanced Docking and Planetary Approach, which you can't do anything with. Besides that, that's what you have. And as you can see down here, we're looking at 30.99... We can get that up a little bit if we want to, but you want to have at least 30 light year jump. And then you'll be able to go from there. Now to Rabingo. All right, Commander. So, right now, money is a big thing for this game. You need to get your money, you need to get your ships and whatnot. So, what I've been doing is passenger missions. Now, as you saw earlier, with um, what we have in the Python, this is going to be the best way to, at least from what I found, this is the best way to do uh, the missions here. And where we are right now is in Robingo. Robigo something. I'll show you where the, the, uh, the place is. Yeah, so we're in Rubigo. And when you go to Rubigo, what you want to do is find a place called Rubigo Mines. Now, you need the reason why I'm doing it in a Python is because you need to have a medium or small size vehicle or vessel. And Anaconda is going to be too big. So we went with the Python. So, what you want to do is you want to land on here, go to Starport Services. Now, when you first come here, the prices are not going to be, or the, the payment is not going to be as good as you originally thought it might be. Only takes about an hour to get you up there to completely allied. Because you can see with each of these factions, I am allied. So they're going to give me the best that they can get. So what you want to do is you want to go through each of these. Find ones here on the right side where it says Serious Atmospherics. And you want to go through them. A quick, uh, a, a quick scan to see what there is. So, it's not uncommon to see ones for 5 million. If you see those, well, grab them right away because those things are good. And put them into any type of uh, cabin that they fit in. And what I typically do is I go through each of them, try to remember what prices they're giving in each of them. And then once I don't see any more 5 millions, or if I didn't find any, to go back to what I remembered and grab those. So you want to try to be in the, the three to four range if you can with the big ones or your big cabins that you have, like with this one here. And as you're putting passengers in, it's going to say that you're not able to carry as many as you were before. Well, that's because you have less cabin space available. So we'll go to each one here. We'll see what they have. Put them there. And we'll grab this guy. And then we have two left. Now, don't worry if you can't fill up your cabins all the way. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. So, we're going to grab this. We're going to put that in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to start the auto launch sequence. And while we do that, we're going to go to our transaction tab. Click on just any of the contracts since they're all the same. And plot your route. Now, this is why you want to have 30 light years or more. 
because once we do this it makes it a what I call in my mind I see it as a one jump it's counted as two but this is one so what you're gonna do is you're gonna ride on down here start your jump sequence and have remember to have your heat sinks ready or remember the hotkey V as in Victor that's gonna automatically launch your hot sinks so we're gonna go ahead and get this charge in here for you and we're gonna go through the vastness of space now you're gonna land really close to a star as you do with any warp that's what we want try to figure out on your mini map where exactly the location is you can see it's right there so we're gonna try to line it up as quick as we can so as soon as the fuel fuel drive is off cooldown we can just go ahead and uh, start up right away pop one of those heat sinks get rid of that uh, get rid of that heat that's going on right there that way we don't take any hull damage and we get maximum profits from this so now when you arrive in Sothis you're gonna want to go to and I'll show you the exact one it's gonna be highlighted in blue I believe it's Sothis. I'm not even going to try because I'm going to wait till we get there because I don't remember exactly what it's called. So once you get here, quickly if you're on computer, press 1. Sothis A5 is where you're going to head towards. I already have this already unlocked, so what we're going to do is go here, line that up with your Super Cruise Assist. So if this is your first time doing it, you're going to want to head towards Sothis A5. Once it's a thousand light seconds or less, that's when serious um, atmospherics, couldn't think of the word, shows up. Select it, it's in the same place. It's, a, it's right next to it. So what I do here is I usually throttle up. I, you want to find out what side of the planet uh, the, uh, the actual target's going to be on. That way you can get there a little quicker. Now the unfortunate thing sometimes is you might get scanned. I've only had that done once in a very blue moon. And being scanned by system authorities is very unlikely because typically you're going to be hauling around illegal criminals, which surprisingly in this one we don't have any. So we're just going to head on down to atmospherics. If you do get scanned by system authority for whatever reason, be a naughty or whatever, just pop a heatsink. Don't let them scan you if you do have illegal uh, criminals with you. Because all these people want to do is they want to get nice and close to the planet, say hi to it, and all you want to do is just get your, get your cheddar, get your money. Alright, so hopefully this works. I'm leaving it up to my frame, my super cruise assist to stop me exactly now. That doesn't always work. If you bypass, just go ahead and do a boost turn. That's basically just flip it upside down and boost. You're going to want to target this. Go to your galaxy map while it's targeting. And you better have this bookmarked already, Rubigo Mines. Get that ready to go. So by the time that's done. You ready to do your frame shift drive? Line up with the place you're going. And start heading back to where you began. So we're going to continue on through through the space-time continuum. So we can get back to Rubigo Mines, drop off our filthy passengers, and continue as we were. Now, it's unheard of to get 100 million plus an hour, uh, depending on how fast you're doing it and how much patience you have. Typically, I pop Netflix on, I watch a show or whatnot, and uh, just go at it. And then whenever it starts getting mindless, I do something different and then go back to it. Now, I will say that they are fixing combat a little bit, so combat might be getting a change in how much you're getting, which is good. If that becomes a good way to make money, I'll be sure to make a video on it on how to do it and the best ways to do to go about it to get the best bang, no pun intended, for your bucks. So we're heading to Rubigo right now. 
So we're going to have it selected, as you can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our, our throttle in the blue. Line ourselves up with it. Go to our contacts. Find the blue Rubigo and start our Super Cruise Assist because we are lazy. Now, as you can see, I can get Super Cruise to go up and down. When you first get it stocked, that doesn't happen. The way to fix that is to go to ship. You want to go down the flight assist. What you want to do is go over to Super Cruise Assist and turn that from manual uh, from automatic to manual. That way you can do one of these and override it. Because what Super Cruise Assist will do is it'll get you very, very middle slow and it won't let you get to where you need to go to as quick as you want to get there. Nice thing about it though is that if it it'll typically uh it's an eight 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 out of ten chance that it'll drop you if you're going too fast it'll drop you in the vicinity you want to be to there's sometimes where it'll drop you past it there's sometimes where it well i i shot through a, a planet before that was traumatizing we're not gonna talk about that anyway so we are going to be going through beagle mines now this does go around the planet so you want to know where it is uh this approach isn't the best uh it's not the worst either so we are coming in fast for if we were doing a manual launch, but we're not doing a manual launch. Plus, there's also the gravity of the planet that's going to slow us down. So we're going to try to break that. And as you can see on the left, distance is getting close and close. And so now we're going to completely pass it because I decided to look away. Just kidding, I didn't ma miss it when we made the first time. So now what we want to do is make sure our throttle is at zero. Hit your boost, which is tab. Go over to contacts. Keep an eye on the right side once you're past the 7.5. Request your dock and get your hands off the wheel. Let your auto dock do the work for you. Once you land it on Robigo, You're going to turn in your passenger missions, and then you're going to go ahead and pick up some more and rinse and repeat as much as you like. Now, our Beagle is outside the bubble. It is uh, slightly far away, but it is worth the money. Uh, but again, I am hoping that the combat does get better. It seems like it is getting better. I hope they continue to tweak it, because that would be nice. Then we're going to have a nice soft landing, a, pro a pro landing. Done by yours truly, the auto docking feature. Get our gas, get that. Now I go through this quick, I'll do the first one for you. So you have three different options. Some of them give you better reputation, some of them give you rare commodities. I just go with the money, baby. And this is what the completion looks like. But for the rest of them, I just go through them quick. Just so I can get to the next one. You want to make sure that you check each and every one. Make sure you don't miss one. Alright, commanders. Well, that's Rubigo Mines for you. And that is how you're going to potentially make 100,000, sorry, 100 million credits or more. Don't forget, subscribe, like, drop down in the comments what you want to see next. And as always, Commanders, I will see you next time, 07.